Hello farmers. Today we are going to talk about the importance of soil fertility and why it matters for your potato crops productivity. Oh, interesting. What does it mean? Well, it means that we need to ensure that the soil contains the right levels of acidity, nutrients and minerals that potatoes need to grow into strong, healthy plants and make lots of healthy tubers. Interesting. How does it work? Well, the first step is to understand your soil fertility level by testing it. Then, you can improve it as needed using a combination of practices. For example, in the short term, to give your soil a boost, you can add fertilizers and organic materials. In the longer term, it is important to use approaches like intercropping and crop rotation. Oh, sounds complicated. Where do we start? Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Let's start at the beginning with a look at what potatoes need. Potatoes specifically need to have lots of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, and also small amounts of nutrients like magnesium, calcium and zinc. And they get all those from the soil? Yes! This is why we need to always check that the soil contains the right balance of nutrients before we plant our potato crops. It is also important to check levels of acidity. Potato crops like the soil to be slightly acidic. If the levels are too low or too high, it can prevent the plants from easily accessing soil nutrients. How do we check? We can carry out a simple soil test that can give us all that information. Whenever you want to do this, ask your local agricultural officer how to get your soil tested. They will know the different options that are available in your area. What does it say? The first thing it tells me is the soil is acidic. Potatoes like their soil to be slightly acidic with a score somewhere between 5.5 to 6. But this soil has a level of 4, which is too high for potatoes. What else does it say? Well, it also says the soil is a bit low on nitrogen and phosphorus, which could mean our potatoes may not grow properly. Oh no! How can we change that? The best way is by using a mix of approaches, including using fertilizers, organic matter, and cropping practices that improve soil fertility. One way to give your soil a quick boost and add the missing nutrients or change the acid level is to add fertilizers. Here, these farmers are digging agricultural lime dip into the soil to reduce its acidity. The best time to do this is after the harvest, before the planting season starts. But what if the acidity is too low for our potatoes? In this case, you can apply fertilizers that contain sulfur or add organic materials like manure or mulches, which also help improve the long-term health and fertility of the soil. What about the low levels of nitrogen and phosphorus in the test results? How do we fix that? There are fertilizers that can add the different nutrients that the potatoes need if they are missing or if the levels are too low. Check with your local agricultural officer or supplier to find out the ones that you need and ask how often you need to apply them and when. For example, before planting, just after germination or pre-flowering. They may all have different instructions. How much do I need to use? That depends on the test results and the instructions for the fertilizer. Always check with your supplier or agricultural officer if you're not sure. You do not want to add too much or too little. See in this plot, farmers are applying a top dressing of nitrogen fertilizer. It needs to be applied two weeks after germination and then covered with soil. Look carefully and you will see that they are making sure it does not come into direct contact with the plant, which could harm it. Thank you. I can see fertilizers may be useful, but they can also be expensive. And our nearest supplier may be far away. Are there any other options? Yes. Apart from adding organic matter, we can also use good cropping practices that improve soil fertility in the longer term, 
reducing the need for fertilizers. Here, you can see the farmers are planting the potatoes in alternate rows with beans. This is called intercropping. Why are they planting beans? Well, bean is part of a group of plants called legumes that actually add nitrogen to the soil as they grow. How do they do that? With the help of special bacteria that live in their roots, you could also rotate potatoes with legumes and get similar results. Thank you so much, Agricultural Officer. We have all learned so much about how to keep ourselves fertile for our potatoes. My pleasure. Now, it's time to wrap up our session. Remember that fertile soil is essential for improved potato yields. Make sure your soil is fertile by monitoring your soil's nutrient levels and mixing different approaches like intercropping and crop rotation, adding fertilizers and organic matter. And also, don't forget to ask your local agricultural officer about soil testing.